This is a process writing from IELTS Academic 16. As usual, we need to spend some time on the statement to understand it. The diagram below shows the manufacturing process for making sugar from sugarcane. So clearly it's a process that shows how sugar is produced. Um, as you know, the instruction is always the same. We need to summarize the information, how by selecting and reporting only the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So uh, step two is to, to spend some time on the diagram to understand it. So uh, here we've got seven steps or stages. Uh, we need to understand what happens at each stage. All the necessary words are given. Step one growing so they grow sugarcane and wait for 12 to 18 months and then they harvest that uh, either manually or mechanically by machines then in stage three they crush the sugar canes to extract juice then they purify it and use a limestone filter to do so and then they heat the juice to make syrup and after that, they use a centrifuge to separate sugar from syrup. And finally, they cool and dry it to make sugar. So uh, for the overview for process writing, all we need to do is to mention the number of steps, then the start point, the end point. And also, we need to mention the main steps of the process. So to do that, we can group some of those stages and label them as one specific step. For instance, for growing and harvesting, we can group them together and call them farming. For crushing and purifying together, we can call them crushing. For the heating process and using the centrifuge, we can call these two together separating. And finally, we have drying, that's the main point. So. Uh, Overall, we will have four main stages, farming, crushing, separating, and drying. So one more time, for your overview, all you need is to mention the number of steps, the start point, the end point, and also the main steps or stages. So step three is to paraphrase. This is my paraphrase. The diagram illustrates how sugarcane transforms into sugar. So as usual, I deleted below because there is nothing below my writing. Um, instead of shows, I use illustrates. And instead of the manufacturing process for, I used how transforms into. Now, this is my model answer. We just read the paraphrase together. Let's read the overview. Overall, the process involves seven stages from cultivating sugarcane to drying and cooling. So I mentioned the number of steps, the start point, and then the end point. And now I need to mention those main stages. Notably, the main steps are farming, crushing, separating, and drying. Now, I start from the first stage to the last stage. This is the logical way, right? Initially, sugarcane is grown for 12 to 18 months to prepare for the harvesting phase. Next, once harvested through either manual labor or mechanized methods, Sugarcane undergoes the process of crushing to extract its juice. Now, next one. Then, the juice is purified by passing through limestone filters. Now, it's the heating process. Following this, the purified juice is heated, causing it to evaporate and turn into a syrup-like material. Then, the centrifuge. This syrup is then processed through a centrifuge, where the sugar crystals get separated from the remaining syrup through spinning. As a result of this separation, the sugar crystals are obtained in preparation for the last stage. So the last stage is drying and cooling. Finally, the crystals are dried and cooled, becoming ready for consumption. So I organized my answer in three paragraphs. In the first one, I simply paraphrase the statement and write the overview. Then I describe the process in the second and the third paragraphs and started from the beginning of the process to the end of the process. In doing so, I wrote 144 words. Remember, as long as you cover all the main points and all these steps, you shouldn't be worried about the word count. In this slide, you can see the words that I used to describe these stages. And in the next one, you will find the words that I used to connect my sentences and also the sequencers like once, then, where, and so on. All right, hope you found it useful. Have a nice day.